I wanted to talk about um, your favorite things that we make for you. Uh, so you you like the shakes, right? That we make. Yep. And we eat those late at night, right? Yep. That's our our midnight snack. Sure, we had little treats. Your mom did? Mom did. Uh huh. And my daddy, too. He said, Trixie, you know, oh, Trixie. Yeah. Trixie, did I have a treat? Three of us. He made sure you guys always had a treat, huh? Yeah. Well, that's good. My daddy came up with those. Your mother did what? He helped my mother's brothers. They were they had much more money than he ever had. He did. Unless they didn't know what they didn't know how to manage it. Uh huh. And therefore he helped them manage it or what? Said what to who? The boy he helps them, the boy they were expecting. Oh, because so they were not grateful of his help. That's right. Now these are little snatches that I remember. That's okay. I remember once going out to the farm. Yeah. How did you go out to the farm very often, or did you ever grow up out there? He, he had a manager of the farm. And he was a very strict, strict manager, and then he expects certain things from them. Well, when you were born, they were already living in the city, or were they living out on the farm? Or what? I was already living on the farm. You were? I was. Okay. So far as I know. So, so you started out your life living at the farm. Is that what you're saying? Yes. I'm saying that I was, my father had a large farm. And I was born there. They were the ones that told me after I was there. They and I were one of the managers of the horses. They said, we're glad to see you. And they, said, and they were the ones that told me that my daddy walked, kept me alive. Because you were premature. Yeah. Well, so he said they didn't give you, Dr. Baptist didn't give you shoes and help for you to, to live. What did you say? Dr. Baptist uh -huh. didn't give me two boots and help uh. to live. Uh -huh. So you went home, uh, or you were born at home at the farm? I was born at home. They didn't have. Right. It was a country situation. Things were like they were on that. I know. <laughs> and my mother, grandmother said, oh, they made my wife to be with my mother. The person they made my wife was the person who was always with my grandmother when her children were born. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> and when I was on unexpectedly early. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. 
when they were led to the fact that most early born kids didn't live. Right. Because the one thing they have, you have to learn to suck, suckle. Right. And when you're born early, you don't, you have it, and then. And you were the first one, right? Yeah. The first child, so. Yeah. How far out of town was your farm, father's farm, from Charlottesville? I had no idea. Okay. I remember it was in a valley. A little valley. That's all I remember from being in the truck when I went to visit. Yeah. And I remember coming over the top of it and yeah. and your father said that everybody in the valley that you could see was real relatives. Yeah. Exactly. Were related to us. Exactly. I must have been very young though. What was I, four or five? Maybe, yeah. Five or eight. Three? Maybe more like three. Maybe four. It was just big enough to notice things. Right. I do remember the cow and the, the cattle being very big. Yeah, they were big. <coughs> he, he called them from a distance, and I didn't know what we didn't, Kathy and I didn't know what he was doing. He said, wait, and then all of them came from over the hills, came right up to us. Yeah, they knew him. Oh, I'm sure they did. Of course, we were littles, and they were huge. Yeah. <laughs> that was quite an eye opener. <clears throat> he, think, was, he was always there for the, his, uh, how they call them, animals, they call them husbandry or something. Animal husbandry, yeah. Uh, and, uh, they, <laughs> they always knew he was there, even though the veterinarian doctor there too. Mm -hmm. So eventually you guys moved to the city though. Eventually. We're still on the farm. Always. I know. We're always on the farm. I realize that, yeah. No miracle about it. We just did. <coughs> Your mom didn't like it at the farm. No. And that's why we had a place in the city. She... Well, my daddy had a lot of businesses. So he wasn't always at home. Right. So he had a small gas station. Yeah. In Charlottesville. Well, right outside, where was that? Crozet? Yeah. Mission River. Missions River. He had a small gas station. He was a part owner of the Monticello Dairy downtown. Yeah. Right. What they call a silent oh. silent partner. Right. And then he had the farm raising Angus cattle. No, he took care of himself. I don't remember all the details there. I'm not asking you. I just know you've always told me that he raised Angus cattle, so that's yeah. not really a mystery. Well, he really was good at what he did. And he expected other people to do their part. <sighs> okay. I'll go in with you today. One day soon, I will. Okay.